Welcome my young adventurers. Today we take you on a journey to a place where our children's stories come to life. The Magical Library. The Magical Library. Is that even possible? <laughs> yes, the Magical Library. But first we must learn how a book is made. Are you ready to go with me? Yes! Okay, follow me please. Welcome, Oh, welcome, my young children. Yay! Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Hello, kids. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, you are welcome to Bakame and Petit Panda. This is a place where your children and books meet. Now we are going to do a tour of Edition Bakame. I'm going to show you what we do and how we do it. You can follow me. Hello little ones, today I'm going to explain to you how a book is made with my friend Bakame. Imagine a magical place filled with ideas. This is where our story begins. In this magical place, authors write their thoughts and dreams into beautiful words. They sit at their desks and create characters adventures and the worlds that will come to life in the pages of a book. Now, once the author has written the story, the story sets out on an adventure to the publishing house. Here, editors carefully read every word, making sure the story flows smoothly, fixing any mistakes until it shines like a diamond. The next destination on our magical journey is the illustrator's wonderland. Imagine a place where artists use their imagination to bring the characters and scenes to life. magic. Here, designers work their magic, arranging the words and illustrations in a way that makes the book a visual masterpiece. They choose fonts, colors, and layouts that make the book a delight to read. Finally, our story arrives at the printing house. Here, machines print thousands of copies of the book. The pages are put together, creating a storybook that was once an idea. And there you have it, my little friends. The magical journey of how a book is made. And remember, you can always make your story digital, which can be accessed through different reading apps online or print it out physically, like the storybooks we have in our library. Oh, thank you very much, Erike, for your explanation. Oh, remember, my young friends, every book has a word to be discovered. Now, let us return home with our heart full of stories. Oh, this was amazing. I want to make my own book someday. Thank you, Papa Yambi and Dibakami. Wonderful children, I hope you had a wonderful time. At Wakame Edition, we have learned how to make a book. But remember that when we are young, we learn to read letters and numbers. And as we grow, we learn more and more. So that 
we are able to read all kind of things. When we read, we don't read numbers and letters. They are sign, symbol and pictures. Uh huh. For example, posters, uh huh, games, uh huh, reliefs, uh huh, subscriptions, yes, newspapers. There's so much to read. Oh, that is amazing. Hello, children. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You are fine. Yes. My name is Tantin Lily from Rwanda Bookmobile and I hope you had a great time learning where books come from, right? Yes. Now we are going to play a series of imaginative games such as making binoculars, making tablets and do some coloring activities. Are you guys ready? Yes. These games are going to help us to know how we want our library to look like. What are the things we want to put in our library? Are you so excited? Yes! Let's start with our first game. Make a binocular like mine. You have to have two paper rolls, a piece of kitenge, and some crayons. Let's start with our first game. We are done with our first game. Now let's move to our second game, right? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. We are going to make tablets. Do you know tablets? Yes. Let's go. We are going to use cardboard. We are going to use a piece of kitenge and some crayons. After making our toys, we are going to use our binoculars and go through our library, search for the things you want to put in your library. Yeah. Okay, now tell me, what do you want to put in your library? The Joyce? I want to, to put 3D books. Tita? I want to put puppets in my library. Wow. I want to put in my library machines. Children, now that you know how your library looks like, tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? <coughs> Rejoice? A policeman. A policeman, wow. Sana? A doctor. Wow, that's amazing. Janti? Design. Wow. Uh -huh. no. Teta? I want to be a cyclist. Wow, that's amazing. Teta, tell us, how are you going to achieve your dreams? I'm going to study so hard and read many books. Wow, that's fun. I wish you all to achieve your dreams. And you children who are watching us, it's your time to start working on your dreams. As you have seen that, a key to achieving our dreams is read. Read, read, and your dreams will become true. Well done children. You have made wonderful toys. And we've seen that these toys can be a very good medium in the digital world that could help you to read and read and read. What is the digital world? The digital world is a magical place inside your computers, your tablets, that can help you find materials to read. Can I help the machine that he read the story? Yes, of course. The machine and so many mediums like tablets can help you write so many stories for you to share with other children. What is the digital world? The digital world is a powerful treasure that can help us to expand our knowledge and creativity. But just like any adventure, it is important to explore it with care and guidance. Welcome children! 
Hope you had fun making toys and learning about digital literacy. Today we are going to learn the most important thing, road signs, which are the words which guide us when we are riding our bicycles on road. Yes, Teta? Coach E, why do we need road signs? Well, nice question, Teta. In this digital age, there are many distractions, but our road signs help us to focus and know our head destination. Children, welcome. I'm going to show you the meaning of the road signs. Come with me. You have to go slow, okay? Yeah. This is the traffic light. Red shows you have to stop. Yellow shows you have to be ready. Green, you have to go. This sign show you have to stop. This sign means the road is closed, okay? Yeah. Come with me. This sign means the road is one way. There is no coming back, okay? So I'm going to ask you questions on what we have learned, okay? Yeah. What's the meaning of this, Kara? To stop. stop. What's the meaning of this? To, to go. go. What's the meaning of this? To, to go slow. What's the meaning of this? To stop! Bravo children! Road signs will keep us safe even though our thoughts are busy. Children, remember to know and to follow road signs when we are riding our bicycle on road. Yes, Coach E! Yummy children, I am Mama Nina. Welcome to Rwanda Bookmobile. Today I'm going to share with you a magical journey taking you to the world of peace, calmness, balance, and then you have fun. I'm going to go with you to the magic garden and you meet my friend Deris. Okay? We are going to do the art of yoga. Welcome. Hello friends, my name is Delis and I'm going to take you through a magical and charming moment, which is yoga. So now let's close our eyes. Imagine you standing here with me in this magical garden. Can you feel the grass beneath your feet? Can you feel the fresh air? How are you feeling? So let's now Hug ourselves and tell yourself sweet words that you want to listen to. Like peace, rest, tell yourself that you are a peacemaker, tell yourself that you're beautiful, tell yourself that you're loved. Are you feeling relaxed? So let's take our hands together and put them to the heart center. We're listening to the heartbeats of our hearts. While we breathe in and breathe out. So let's breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So let's now say hi to the sun by singing Dora Kazu Akeza. Let's go. Dora Kazu Akeza Kiu Rasirazua Karaye Karijenda Nonedore 
Ngako kara hingutse. Yes. Let's visit the sky and say hi to the clouds. You know clouds poses? So let's pose like clouds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So on our sky visit, let's also say hi to the half moon. Then we pose like half moon. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. On the left side, half moon on the left side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So let's now sit slowly to our mat. in your heart now you're feeling happy calm and strong yes so the art of yoga you're going to go with it in your heart so you can always find a place to go to in your life to find peace time in yoga it was fine yeah. okay today our story is called be you you were born to be so many things my wish for you no matter where your journey is is for you to always be you be ready to take that next toward being an amazing human being. Be curious. Turn every stone. Ask every why. And keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life. When you are ready, Step outside your comfort zone. Bravery, explore a new path and see where they lead you. Be connected. Find kindred spirit. Be with those who make you feel like they really you. Be persistent. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Be different. Be silly, be quack, be odd, be unique, be weird, be colorful. Be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. Be kind. Be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen. Then listen more. Learn more about who they are. Be brave. Try new things. Take a deep breath and plan forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you will be heading in the direction 
of you. Be okay being around. Take a time to be on your own. Hear your own thoughts. You are in a voice. Listen to your heart. Be patient. Being, being more, you takes time. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let your future unfold at its, its own pace. It will be worse the wait. Be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. As you voyage out into the world, remember, no matter what, you will always be loved. You are ready? So, go ahead. Be you. Be very, very you. So the last message is, go ahead. Be yourself. Be the best version of you. Each day is a new chance to be more you. Thank you very much. That was our story today. Our story was, be, be you. Be you.